Hi beautiful people, hope you guys are doing fantastic wherever you are in the world. It seems as though Radiant Brits, whose YouTube channel will be linked in the description box, if you have not heard about her or seen any of her content, has struck a nerve with Without a Crystal Ball, because last night on a TikTok live, she went out of her way to attack Radiant Brit for having an opinion about the false reporting that Katie Joy put out. And others seem to have just been praising her over this posting. She was calling Radiant Brit a bitch and just being nasty. Most of all, gaslighting the hell out of her audience because what Katie Joy attacks Brit for in a live is not what Radiant Brit spoke about in a video. This was the title of Radiant Brit's video. And I'm just speculating here. But I think Radiant Brit used that title because Katie Joy is putting out wrong information about Gypsy. And in reality, Katie Joy was BFFs with this family, turned on them twice, and they never take her back into the fault. And Katie Joy herself has admitted that she doesn't want Gypsy to have this child. This is what she had to say about Radiant Brit. You know what? I want to say something. There's a creator named Radiant Brit, and she really fucking pisses me off. She's a fucking bitch. And I'm putting out all of this information, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm risking a lot by doing this. Mm -hmm. I put my neck on the line. I'm sharing factual information. This isn't because I have a vendetta or I have some sort of grudge. Right. Well, I mean, the criminal activity that they're doing and right. Radiant Brit is making videos saying Katie Joy is big mad at Gypsy. Radiant Brit acts like I'm like Gypsy. She treats me like I'm mm -hmm. some sort of um, yeah, like you're the, yeah, like you're the menace and you're the you're this con artist. Like fuck you, Radiant. Stop fucking mm -hmm. talking about me. It's been five years. Move the fuck on. I am not the problem. I'm not big mad because I'm sharing what I know. I'm not big mad and I'm not trying to start drama because people come to me with information and share it with me. And you know why they share it with me? Because they know they can trust me because I've experienced it too. I put this information out about what they're doing because I'm trying to protect other content creators, Brie. Radiant Britney or whatever your name is, you should be fucking thanking me, Radiant Brit, because you could be next. You put your neck on the line and upload content and Gypsy hasn't noticed you yet, but she will. And then you'll be a target. And then all of your information will show up in a file. And you know what, Radiant Brit, even if you, with all the bullshit you say about me, I would still tell you if I found information on you that they're trying to do to you because that's how I am. Because nobody should be like intimidated, threatened, doxxed, harassed, or silenced or extorted. Right. Stop talking. And Radiant is just using my name so people will click on it to see like I'm doing something wrong. What wrong have I done here? And why no and most content creators aren't even talking about this. Right. Because they want to talk about the bullshit that doesn't matter. They want to talk about an old screenshot between Christy and Fancy that happened in 2019 and say, Oh my god, Chris Gypsy's trying to kill Ken. Katie Joy, that was the title of her video. But if the shoe fits, wear it. But I don't think it was the title that's bothering you. I think it's the context of the video and that you lied. And now you are pissed that Radiant Brit took a stand and exposed your lies. And this is what Radiant Brit did commentary on in her video. Exclusive. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's fantasy of having a family with her boyfriend Ken as a fantasy due to laws related to child custody and protection in Louisiana. In fact, Gypsy's conviction of murder prohibits her from having custody of a child under the law. That is what Radiant Brit did a video about. And that is why Katie Joy is now big mad. Big, big mad. Because her false information is being exposed. It had nothing to do with you now exposing who was doxing who. And... I think you should actually be the last to talk about doxing people when you do the exact same thing. And you further gaslight your audience to justify your doxing. You, in my opinion, definitely are a menace. You say you're not causing drama. So why again in this live did you go and attack and call out Nina and Morbid? You be trusted? That's a joke. Again, Katie Joy, but it did not speak on you talking about all this information that people allegedly gave you. Let's be clear, Radiant Brit did a video on your statement that Gypsy's conviction of murder prohibits her from having custody of a child under the law. And it was a very interesting choice of words that you used, Katie Joy, when you said you don't have a vendetta or a grudge. I personally think you do.
So let me just say well done to Radiant Brit and thank you to Radiant Brit for continuing to call Katie Joy out on her lies and fabrication of stories. Why is Katie Joy saying that she's putting her life on the line? What, what does she even mean by that? And why is it anybody else's burden with that claim that she makes? Why would she even do that? But I don't even believe that bullshit because from my observation and research and reporting on Katie Joy for some time, the only reason she will actually take up for somebody is when she's looking for allies. So, Katie Joy, when it comes to Radiant Brit, from my research, Radiant Brit has moved on from you quite a while ago, years ago. The only time she does speak about you is when you muddy up stories and try to portray yourself as someone that is credible. When in my opinion, you are absolutely not credible. And cut the bullshit, Katie Joy. You would never have given Radiant Brit a damn thing. You would have used it against Brit. Come on now. Like I said, the link to Radiant Brit's video that she made is listed in the description box. Go and check it out and you will see how Katie Joy was gaslighting her viewers. Now, Katie Joy claims that she is trying to protect other content creators by sharing all this information that someone gave her because... <laughs> they trusted her. I call BS. Who would trust someone that was friends with the family for five years, turned on them when she was kept out of the loop about a meeting she wasn't informed about, threw a tantrum, released some information, the family forgave her, she went crawling back to them knowing the shenanigans they were up to, but chose to go crawling back to them. She herself was put on probation and then she felt she was untouchable. And then finally, they cut her loose completely because she ran her mouth again. She condoned and was complicit, in my opinion, with all the shit she is now accusing them of. Which content creators are you looking out for, Katie Joy? Because if you go to Loma Girl's Twitter and you watch Katie Joy's live, about an hour prior to her going off on Brit, she was discussing this private discord with names of the people who have folders and what is in these folders for each person. Now listen to when she gets or mentions Nina's name. There's folders in the server, okay? They have a folder on Morbid, Fancy, Starlight, Stinky Dinky Slides, Nina, and then they added the real Brie after they kicked out Brie. Morbid, his is the most in-depth. It has hundreds of screenshots and it's ma mainly from his discord. It's like stuff he says in Discord, stuff about the people he doesn't like in Discord, stuff they talk about in Discord. The fancy one is mostly empty. The Starlight one contains her mugshot and her charges and her full name. The Nina one, it doesn't really have much in it. She said Nina doesn't have much in it. But why did she laugh when she was saying that Nina doesn't have much in it? Go back and listen to her laugh to herself. Well, anyway, about an hour after she said this, and when she was gaslighting her audience on how Radiant Brit is this terrible person speaking on her when she is saving content creators, she decided to go off on Nina. Nina continuously putting out false information, which then dilutes and confuses and diverts. And for those of you that say Nina doesn't get stories wrong, she's gotten three stories wrong in the last few weeks. Nina, Ken, and Gypsy have not broken up. Ken is not being poisoned by Gypsy. That screenshot happened in 2019 and Habitat for Humanity did not happen. No application was formed, nothing. I don't like Nina. I don't like content creators that don't put out truth. I don't like people that just are doing it for views. My videos don't get that many views. My TikToks don't get that many views. I don't, when it comes to Gypsy, my sister wives videos are slamming. That's really where I'm at. Here's the thing. Nina's gotten three stories wrong in the last three weeks. Nina's not caring that there's an entire folder and I have a screenshot of a Discord of her full ass name being shared in a Discord with her address, her phone number, email addresses, all of it. Yeah, there's a full docs in my screenshots from Bree's Discord. So now she is saying that Nina is not caring that there's a whole folder and she has a screenshot of a Discord with her whole ass name being shared in a Discord with her address, phone number and email addresses, all of it. She proceeds to laugh and say there's a full dox. So Katie Joy riddle me this. If you did not become unhinged and go off at Brit, and as you first claimed that there is nothing in Nina's folder, to an hour later saying that she is not caring, 
that tells me that maybe you had intentions of holding on to Nina's information and using it for nefarious reasons. Because in the beginning, you say that there's nothing there. But then, when you become unhinged, you say that there's a whole dox of hers. You guys can let me know what you think about that. Now, let's take a listen at how offended she feels when she tells Morbid about what she found in this discord. And I told Morbid, and Morbid's like, oh, whatever, I don't care. You know what, Morbid, if you would have found this, you would have cared. Morbid can absolutely speak for himself, and I'm not speaking for Morbid. But this is just my two cents. From watching Morbid, it seems as though he is good with whatever was in that discord, and it doesn't bother him. But sounds like Katie Joy is pissed that he rejected her. And now she has just been petty by saying, if he found it first, he would care. Really, Katie Joy? Really. Now let me end with saying this. Katie Joy is projecting. She went off on Brit, gaslighting her audience to make Brit the bad person. What is really going on with Katie Joy? Because she suddenly comes back on the Gypsy Express after suddenly cutting down on her sister wife's content that's supposed to be an, as she said, slamming. And she says she doesn't get paid from TikTok and that her Gypsy videos don't do so well. Yet, everybody knows Katie Joy loves money. She loves making money. So this doesn't make sense. Why would she cut her sister wife's content from three videos a day right down to one video a day and come right back on the Gypsy Express where it doesn't bring her any revenue. It's all left to be seen. Or maybe even she is slacking off again because she doesn't want to pay high taxes. As she said previously when she was discussing how she told Brie and showed Brie that she makes millions on YouTube. But as I said, Radiant Brit's link to her video will be in the description box. Go and check that video out. You will see that she was not discussing what Katie Joy was accusing her of. Last but not least, Katie Joy. You fucked up, but not doing your due diligence in regard to the whole Gypsy Rose story. You chose to lie for Gypsy and the Blanchards, which you admitted in this live. Sit down and take the L. Learn to humble yourself and acknowledge that being the first is never always a good thing. And there is place for everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And don't forget, make good memories. Bye, guys.